Well, how are you doing? I'm sitting here, it's, it's raining a bit outside. You can see a bit of water on the ground. Um, I'm wondering, what do you long for in this world? What do you dream about? There really are big visions for the world that people could take. Martin Luther King said, we shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. And I kind of wonder, some people think it bends towards justice without God. Uh, the things are going to get better by themselves. And others think, no, it's God who makes it bend towards justice. We're looking at one of the most beautiful expressions of this longing and hope in Habakkuk. It says, The earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Now this is our hope. It reminds me of your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God, like the water behind me, but the water covering the whole land. It ties together many previous verses of the Bible, which talk about the glory of the Lord filling the earth, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory. But particularly two verses from Isaiah, and I think it blends the two together. It, it pictures in Isaiah 6 when the angels are calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. And then later on in Isaiah, where there's a picture of the mountain of the Lord, it says, They will neither harm nor destroy on my holy mountain, for the earth is filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Looking from the mountain of God, the earth we fill with the knowledge of the Lord. And Habakkuk puts these two fillings, the filling of the glory of God with the knowledge of God. And he says, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Look out from your window, the street ahead of you. The valley behind you will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Everyone around you, People will know the Lord from the least to the greatest. God's glory will be seen for what it is. A man I really admire runs a ministry in a harder part of New South Wales. And he always says, Jesus wins. At the end of an email, he'll say, Jesus wins. And I think this is the Jesus wins line. Now, we don't know how much the sea level will rise. Who knows? But we do know that God's glory the knowledge of God's glory will cover this land like the waters cover the ocean. The God, the Prince of Glory who was crucified, they didn't even understand. One day will be known and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Those who oppose him will know. Those who are gathered his people will know Jesus wins. The earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as waters cover the sea. That's a future hope for us all. We shall overcome the arc of history we bent towards justice, but not just justice in general, but knowledge of God's glory. Now, this verse actually comes in the midst of woes. In the book of Habakkuk, there are five woes. We saw one last week. We're going to see two today. Just briefly, just read them. And next week, we'll hone in on, on the last two. But there's an encouragement for to live by faith as we await for his future glory. Woe to him who builds his house by unjust gain setting his nest on high to escape the clutches of ruin. You have plotted the ruin of many people, shaming your own house and forfeiting your life. The stone of the wall will cry out and the beams of the woodwork will echo it. Woe to him who builds a city with bloodshed and establishes a town by injustice. Has not the Lord Almighty determined that the people's labor is only fuel for the fire, that the nations exhaust themselves for nothing? He's saying, woe to those who build houses dishonestly, who make themselves great by tearing others down. Woe to those who build cities out of blood. Um, those will just, uh, the work of the oppressor will be basically fit for the incineration. But the good news is, and the bigger hope for the righteous who live by faith is, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. It's been raining all day. What a reminder that a flood will occur but a flood of the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, come.